This is so unfair. This is a panic button. We did actually break a sweat. Look at this. Let me just tell you something about my shower experience. Excuse me, chat. Are you going to eat that? I don't want that much lemon. I thought it was instant coffee. You're a bit late for today's work session, Milka. Well, good morning, everyone. It is 5 a.m. and we are recreating another morning routine. This is the 5 a.m. morning routine of Sienna Santa. She is a student at Harvard, I believe, but is now currently studying at Oxford. So this is her morning routine that was posted fairly recently and is, yes, her 5 a.m. Oxford morning routine. <sighs> feels like the middle of the night. It is the middle of the night, right? The sun rises in over an hour at 6.48. So yeah, I kind of lay there and um, basically a wasp decided to enter my room. You guys, the camera did not pick it up, but it was buzzing around my room, okay? All I could hear was this buzzing noise and wasps freak me out. I literally was hiding under the covers. I was so scared at 5 a.m. this was, okay? Uh, so yeah, I basically just grabbed my dressing gown and ran downstairs to get out of my room. This is so unfair. I'm supposed to be in bed right now. There is a wasp in my room. It is pitch black. Why? I mean, it is my choice to do this, but do I have sleep in my eyes? It is currently 5.24. I was in bed yesterday at 10.30 p.m. 10.30 p.m. I am usually in bed at like midnight. So I was technically prepared for this video. However, I did not fall asleep very quickly. I was lying there in bed and I just couldn't sleep because I don't normally go to bed that early. I don't feel as tired now that I am here and talking to you guys. Um, as usual, we have our list. Apparently, she does this two to three times a week. I would not want to do this once a year, like let alone multiple times a week, but we are here. And we are going to try and do this because I'm up now. We may as well follow through. So first things first, Sienna was wearing this Alice band. So I decided to put one on as well. And then I just needed to brush my teeth, you know, pretty standard. And I also needed to moisturize my face. However, I forgot to bring a moisturizer downstairs. So we just resorted to splashing the face with water instead. <sighs> I did this in my last morning routine recreation and you know, somewhat helps to wake you up in the morning. I then literally crept back into my room. I repeat, I crept around my room. I made my bed and I don't actually think I was supposed to do that right away, but you'll just have to let me off. I then found the workout clothes that I wanted to put on and just redid my hair so it didn't look like one big frizzy mess. And yeah, basically then just put my clothes on. I'm supposed to be going to a gym which I'm not doing, but I need to do a workout of some sort. I need to do cardio and strength training and stretching out. My plan was to go on a run, but I am genuinely so scared to go in the dark. This is my Apple Watch. This is a watch I'm testing out for the marathon. It's like a Coros 2 watch. It's so light and it accurately tracks your like, pace and your distance and everything. So I'm wearing this and this, um, yeah, this is a panic button. Just an alarm, okay? I need a panic button right now. There was no way I was gonna test this thing at like 6 a.m., but I hope it still functioned as a panic button, you know. Anyway, I went downstairs, put my traders on, and um, yeah, I basically just sat there and waited. And yeah, I just waited and waited for it to become a bit lighter, so I just was passing time. I'm actually out. Doing. It's not pitch black because I did wait. I was biding my time and I can actually see now, so I don't feel as if I'm going to be kidnapped or, you know, anything's bad's going to happen. And I can confirm I got round safely on my eight kilometre run. I need to take this off. It is too hot to wear this. We did actually break a sweat. Look at this. Um, and yeah, I uh, didn't have to use the panic button. The sun has officially risen now. I do feel awake actually. I feel 
really quite refreshed it's strange um there was also one part of the run when i literally didn't even have to close my eyes and i felt like i was back in cambridge we do not live in cambridge it does not look like cambridge it also doesn't look like oxford obviously but i just felt like i was back in cambridge like the feeling of me being in cambridge like the cambridge bubble the stress the studying the grind it all just came back to me and i was like whoa this is strange i was never up at 5 a.m in cambridge let me just point out but those memes just came back to me it was weird so as i said at the start sienna did cardio followed by strength training so in my bedroom i basically did a 15 minute strength training circuit i picked five exercises most of them were weighted and i did those for 40 seconds on and had a 20 second rest in between so this is my fourth exercise and then the fifth exercise was a glute raise with my weight as you can see and yeah i did that whole circuit three times so this whole thing took me like 15 minutes So as many of you guys will know, I have been training for the marathon and strength training has been so important alongside my running and alongside any form of cardio. Strength training is just so important. So this was just a nice early morning, well, very early morning training session for me. I did my run and then I got back and did my strength training circuit. And I was so happy that Sienna said she stretches out after every workout because I always bang on about stretching out. You guys know this. And again, it is so important to stretch out after you work out. Workout is officially done. It is now shower time everyone. I'm not usually a fan of morning showers and a lot of these morning routines have morning showers in them. I'm just like why? But I am actually really looking forward to this morning shower. I'm gonna full on wash my hair. My hair is in desperate need of a wash. Let me just tell you something about my shower experience that you might want to know. We hardly have any of it left, but this limited edition pineapple and papaya shower gel from Superdrug, it's like vegan and cruelty free and everything, but oh my gosh, it literally smells so good. I could literally eat myself after I use this in the shower. It's so good, it smells insanely good. But let's be real, I have never been able to get those artsy shower shot um so you know you just have to put up with my feet like dancing around and doing very weird stuff like this i will work on that and maybe one day we'll get a cute artsy shower shot but for now no we can't do that that shower took me like 10 minutes i am very proud to say that i have quick showers just because i like to get in and out saves water we also have this stop start rule in our house where we don't keep the water running whilst we're like washing ourselves we turn it on and then we turn it off um i don't know why i'm telling you that but i am telling you that we feel good i washed my hair i need to get dressed style my hair put some jewelry on perfume the full shebang and then it is breakfast time everyone so i put on my black jeans and also an organic basics sports bra just whilst i was styling my hair so i got my gel that i use all this elixir type stuff and yeah i tried to scrunch my hair as you can see i still haven't tried the curly L method officially yet but anyway i then put on this t-shirt felt quite cute tried to look like that girl putting on my necklace but it just turned into me looking like this you guys know i love my lilac butterfly earrings so i put those in and then i just got my eyelash curlers to curl my eyelashes this thing broke so i can't really use it properly at the moment but i still do my best to brush up the brows um excuse me chair. what do we think i did just put this alice band in again my only problem is that if i leave it in with my hair still kind of drying it's gonna leave an awkward dent yeah i'll put it in for now just to keep it off my face because i don't really know what else to do with it for now but yeah i'm wearing this top which says wildflower it was given to me by emily classic hand-me-down and the final stage is to put on some perfume now this is a brand new hollister socal perfume perfume it's still in the packaging like it's brand new i'm not even joking i got this about five christmases ago but i was like you know what i'm feeling fresh we're gonna put it on Ooh, look at that i believe this is men's the men's one but it's so good oh, i'm not really a fan of perfume usually oh i don't like to spray a lot as well because it like makes me choke you know some people have like a a perfume that they always wear that's just not me right let's just have a little update and time check 
It's uh, 8.51. I thought I was actually running to time. Mm, I mean, I was supposed to be getting dressed, putting on perfume, styling my hair and stuff at 8.05. We're not that delayed. Like, it's okay. As usual, we're not sticking to timings. I'm just doing my best. The thing I did miss out was after Sienna worked out, she went to a Tesco on the way back from her gym session, which was at a Pure Gym. I have been to a Pure Gym before, but I haven't been to a gym since like COVID. It feels like ages ago. Um, the best thing about Pure Gyms are when you go in those pods to get in, like that's the best thing. Anyway, so she went to Tesco, she got some groceries for her breakfast. I didn't really need to do that, but I did do some shopping for this breakfast. I will show you downstairs, but I've been very excited to use this. The thing that blows my mind with these morning routines, or maybe it's just because I'm I'm the only person that really does it, I don't know. But like, I drink so much water in the morning and I've just realized that I haven't had anything to drink. Like, I'm so thirsty right now. Yeah, let's go downstairs. So according to my list, I didn't note down anywhere when Sienna had water. I don't even know if she had water, but I did, okay? And then I went into the freezer, pulled out some homemade bread that is frozen. Mum makes this, it's so good. And I put it in the toaster to defrost, essentially. And I just boiled the kettle alongside. Then the main event, people, the main event, we got the avocado and the perfectly ripe avocado that it was on this day. I was so, so happy, you guys. And yeah, I just sliced it then very thinly. This was basically how Sienna did it, so I just did the same. <laughs> when that goes to plan, it is so incredibly satisfying, but maybe I do need to stop doing it. I don't know. Anyway, I then just put my avocado on my toast. What else do you think I'm going to do with it? Mm -hmm. It's a bit weird to have avocado at the morning. Have you never heard of avocado toast? Dad doesn't think I'm gonna eat this. Like, she had some like rocket. We don't have rocket, and to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of rocket. It's just so, so strong tasting. I don't normally add lemon to things either, but I'm gonna try. I don't want that much lemon because I'm not a big fan. Ew, oh no, not the pips. Tomatoes weren't part of this, but I'm adding tomatoes. What are you doing? I'm thinking about it. I take the time to think about it. People film. Jeez. Trying to be my director or what? Why is the washing machine making such a loud noise? So as I said, I did some shopping. Basically, Sienna used what's called everything but the bagel seasoning, which I think is only made in America. You can get it in the UK, but oh my gosh, it was so expensive. I think it's like bought from trader joe's in america and yeah it was literally for like a jar that's like this big like a standard spice size jar it was like 10 pounds i've seen it used a lot in videos um i obviously don't have any of that so i bought this instead oh my gosh this looks like bird food so that is why i instead got the everything mix you see, it's by the Bagel Bakery. If you put those words together, you can kind of make everything but the bagel mix. Black sesame seeds, garlic, mm. sea salt, kibbled onion, onion granules, poppy seeds. Wow, we have everything. Everything but the bagel. Ooh. It looks quite nice. Let me give you a bird's eye view. Get me looking fancy. Look at that. You guys telling me I don't know how to season my food, which I don't, but look at this. Like, we have some stuff going on today. I can't compare because I've never tried the Trader Joe's one, but this to me looks fancy and it smells like onion. The two pieces of toast are different sizes, but it's okay. Mmm. Mmm. You guys, that is nice. Wow. Mm. Do we want to make coffee? Ah, uh, dow egg birds. I'm just going to make this super milky. Super, super milky. Okay. Mum likes oat milk in her coffee, so I'm gonna try that. I feel like oat milk could be really creamy as well. That is definitely not the color of coffee. Oh my God, is that my nose? I do need to be doing my emails whilst I'm using this, so I'm just gonna check them on my phone because I'm not gonna get my laptop upstairs. Like, I'm just not gonna do that. What are your thoughts on avocado toast? Do you like avocado toast? Do you have avocado toast? I don't know. Mm. Is it overrated? Um. I don't think so. It's pretty good. Okay, so me watching this back, I literally forgot to add butter to my toast. I genuinely forgot in that moment. Mum's homemade bread is so good. 
However, I thoroughly enjoyed the avocado toast with the new seasoning mix. I mean, if you're in the UK and you're looking for something similar, definitely try this one. I mean, it may not be the same as the Trader Joe's one, but it was definitely a lot less than I paid £10, okay? <coughs> There are basically just coffee granules at the bottom of this because when I boiled the water I left it for ages and then I poured it in so obviously it didn't dissolve properly and I just swallowed a load of coffee granules like oh you know honestly I wouldn't say that I like hate the taste of coffee like I actually don't mind it it's just that I never really want coffee these are my avocado socks by the way that dad was going on about I love them they're my favorite pair of socks I didn't write any emails I'm not gonna lie but I checked my emails and deleted spam right let's go <laughs> Do do do. Uh, what's no, it? Oh no, it's just coffee, coffee that you put into a cafetiere that doesn't dissolve. Oh, that's what it's called, cafetiere. I added what should have been in this to just a mug, which you don't yeah, do. Yeah, I thought it was instant coffee. Like I thought the water wasn't hot enough, and that was why it didn't dissolve. But no, I was using the wrong coffee. Anyway, so now it is time to teleport ourselves to a library aka my room and do some work this is my library we have books here we also have books here it is my library it is a great library okay i must say so myself you can talk in here you can make noise in here you don't have to be quiet you can eat in this library it's a great time let's do this let's go on this work grind sorry still have a bit of a cold <coughs> or maybe it's poppy seeds i don't know and before anyone says anything i'm negative for covid anyway so sienna did some work before her tutorial at 11 a.m and then after that she had her tutorial at 11 a.m which she said was on teams so she just went back to her room i believe and yeah jumped on the video call my bedroom was acting as the library and also the bedroom so you know a two in one also does anyone else do this with water or is that another strange thing that i just do i genuinely don't know anyway that was basically my work session and milka turned up very late to our study sesh <laughs> you're a bit late for today's work session milka oh you're so cute say hi we missed you This is just not gonna work. You like can't see me. We are gonna have our outro inside today. I'm sorry we're not sitting in the car. But in all honesty, Sienna didn't drive anywhere. She didn't travel anywhere except by foot. So it makes sense to do this outro today for this morning routine inside, okay? It's also boiling in here. So as you can see, we end up with hair that looks like this. Hagrid hair. Kind of like Hermione Granger or the professor with really curly hair. Don't know her name. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I cannot tell you how like happy and positive I feel. Like I'm in such a good mood. Don't get me wrong, I am normally the person that's like, oh my gosh, how do you get up at 5 a.m., 6 a.m.? You know, how do people get up so early? But it genuinely makes me want to get up early. Maybe not 5 a.m. every day, but to get up earlier because it's so nice to wake up as the sun is rising like as much as i complain about it it's just a whole other mood it's honestly a really refreshing and as i said uplifting and positive way to start your day it's a pretty simple morning routine but i really liked it it was good genuinely though i am scared that i am going to be sleeping and living in my bedroom with a wasp because i do not know where it went i don't know why a wasp came into my room at 5 a.m like you are supposed to be asleep but yeah like oh uh, as always i will leave a link to sienna's video down below her aesthetic for that video i remember her saying was kind of like inspired by the that girl aesthetic i could say a lot about this and i might just save it for a different video because this one is probably getting kind of long as always i really hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did check out the other videos in this series and leave a comment down below if you have any other ideas i do have a big long list but yeah i always love to hear from you guys and obviously you can subscribe if you want to stick around and hit the bell so you know when i upload and as always i will speak to you very soon in another video bye I'm literally just in the process of like plaiting my hair so I can go out. Basically, the wasp is on the floor. That is the wasp right there. Okay, it was still alive. It was just asleep, like really, really lethargic. So I got it on a magazine. I am just so glad that I do not have a wasp roommate.